Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Helgen Reborn. We are evaluating our final recruit for the Helgen Guard, and all I've got to say is, it's about goddamn time, like holy shit. And why is it we are here, and immediately someone is attacking my horse? Like, what the hell? Attack me! I'm the goddamn Dover King, goddammit! Right, do we have Cyclone? Yes, we do. We have Cyclone, how about you? Can we knock the guy off? Please, come on. Come down. Come on, buddy. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're mine, bitch. You're mine. Okay. That was cathartic. I don't know where the hell the other guy's gone. Screw it. We're just gonna go in. Hopefully our followers follow us, because, you know, you'd think that would be a standard thing, but no, it's actually kind of novel when it actually happens. Okay, we have Jizargo. That's something. Yes, everyone is here. Genuinely, I cannot believe we haven't lost a single one so far. It happens all the god ding dang dilly ding dong time. Drives me insane. But we can't digivolve yet, and that makes me a sad panda. Why am I missing HP? Like, what the crap? Random debris beating me up. What's up, baby? Boom, sir. <laughs> you are weak, and I am powerful. What are you doing, Kindrick? Come on, buddy. Come on. I'm supposed to be evaluating you. Come on, dude. You can do it. At your own pace, buddy. Holy shit. See, this, everyone told me, you know, let the recruits fight and shit. This is why I don't wait for them, because it takes so long. He hasn't even made it. Okay, to be fair, I just fell off the staircase. I was going to say he hasn't even made it up the staircase yet, but he actually beat me. But still, he still hasn't even got to the freaking enemy yet. Dude, if I could push you up the arse, I really would. There we go. They actually traded arrows, so nothing was... How the hell did you hit me? I was trying to use him as a meat shield. You are so useless, you're not even a good meat shield. You suck. We're gonna let them fight. Hey, we finally got a Digivolve. Okay, come on, buddy. Come on. You can do it. Go, Kendrick. <laughs> I could just imagine Dover Bear with pom poms. That would be amazing. Come on. Come on, dude. No, stop barding over. Oh, my God. Now, screw this nonsense. That's how you do it. <laughs> just throttle them to death. Or, you know, headbutt or whatever the hell I did. That's how it's done, scumbag. Get the hell out of my sight. Okay. You know what we haven't used in a while? We haven't bent someone to our will. So. Let's do that, because, you know, it's, it's fun to mix shit up. Why can't I pick up this cabbage? God damn, that thing is stuck to the plates. If only you could use bend wheel on fruits and shit, that would be amazing. I know a cabbage is not a fruit before anyone says it. Okay, I almost walked on that. Hey, money, yoink. Screw the danger, there's money to be had. Wait a minute, why are all the forms worn here female? You'll do my bidding, bitch. <laughs> Seriously, have we come across like a lesbian cult of force worn or something? That's kind of sexy, or it would be if they didn't all have mohawks, because that's... Frankly, not that sexy. Hey, more money. Don't open the crate. Oh, we can't open the crate. I forgot, because you know in Oblivion you can open literally absolutely everything, but there's a lot of stuff in Skyrim you just can't open. I'm just not used to it. God damn it. Don't break it. Come on. Come on. Go, no, no, no. God damn it. Come on. Yes. Finally. Now, what do we get? We get a bunch of junk, but, you know, we kind of expected that. Okay. Looks safe. Let's go. Oh, it goes back out to Skyrim. What? Dover Bear. Stop trapping me in the corner, you son of a bitch. All right, that goes back out to Skyrim. We probably don't want to go there yet. Hey. Okay, that's the one I bent the wheel on. I wonder what the hell was going on. She's about to turn like a zombie. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Before I could even hit her. I think I just hit Kendrick. God damn, the aiming system on this game is terrible. Will you let me hit the freaking enemy? It's not that hard. Or it shouldn't be. Boom, son. <laughs> God, that was awesome. Okay. That made me feel a whole lot better. Right, let's get the hell out. Oh, Jesus. That's not the way you open a door, man. I just KO'd myself with that shit. Hello? Where's the guy we're supposed to kill? Because there's always, like, one boss dude that we're supposed to take out. Where the hell is he? According to the map, he ain't even in the same section as us. And quite frankly, that's kind of worrying. Where are you hiding, you scumbag? Okay, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a deer skull. For some reason, that looked very, very strange to me, and I don't know why. And there's a drum. pa pa pum pum My god, what is with all the flutes and shit? They're a cult of musical lesbian forsworn. It's amazing. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> shit. Boulders. Oh, this is gonna hit me. Okay. If something's traveling like 0.001 miles per hour, it will kick the shit out of you. And you're a mage and that's not good. Kill it. Where are my companions? God damn it, I have three of them. Never mind, as usual, I'll do everything on my freaking own. You useless bastards. Ouch! God damn it, another mage. I nearly did. Heal. Will you freaking heal? Holy shit. Apparently there's Dragonborn, buddy. God damn, he's a dangerous son of a bitch. Get her team. And I bent her will. And now, guess what we're gonna do? You're mine, bitch. You're mine. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's going on? Jizargo, Jizargo, what the hell are you doing? Leave ancient dragonborn buddy alone. You son of a bitch. I don't trust him. See how I said last episode? He always attacks me. Now he's attacking my companions. You cannot trust that furry bastard. Right, apparently this is where we're supposed to go. Where does this take us? Back out to Skyrim. Okay, I'm slightly confused. Where the hell is the guy we're supposed to be killing? Oh, he's in there. I see. 
There's a guard. We're that? guards. You're the what? What the hell? How did I have like a hundred freaking sneaking? I was crouching. How the hell did you know I was coming? I blame Dover Bear. That scumbag is always getting me in trouble. I want to toss him over the side. He's too heavy, damn it. Give me that potion. Yoink. Wait a minute, where's Kendrick? Screw it, we're gonna go in. Hopefully he appears, because I don't know where the hell he was. Kendrick, are you here? God, I hope so. I see a trap on the floor. That's not good. Okay, he's with us. Thank God. I should kind of leave it up to him, but, uh... Bright hearts are pretty goddamn dangerous. Da -da 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 -da. As you can see, because I nearly freaking died. So, yeah, if we leave it up to him, we will all perish. So, that's not a good idea. Oh, God damn it! I want to summon Dragon Priest, buddy. God freaking damn it, man. God, I hate not having enough mouth. He's got to be dead by the time I get to do it. Damn it, I still want to do it. This is so not worth it. Well, hey, Kendrick's going, eh? Well, you know he's got a bit of help there. There we go. Well, pretend, you know, Dragonborn Buddy wasn't helping you. We have done it, finally. We have evaluated the final recruit, and bless him, he tried. He sucked in the process, but the point is he tried. And we may as well cure our diseases, just in case we turn into a bloody vampire or something again, because I actually did, and I had to reload in order to save. Because that was really freaking annoying. What the hell is that? And of course my light goes out right as I'm trying to evaluate the bloody thing. It looks like a skeever with its legs cut off. I have never seen that before. That is disgusting as hell. Okay. Uh, yoink. Is there anything else around here before we leave? Hello? There's more bloody musical instruments. There's a chest. What's in the box? A bunch of junk. Well, there's a big surprise. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Go back to Korst. Okay, we are back in Helgen. Unless I'm mistaken, the place looks a bit better. And that guy's wearing armor. Has progress been made? My god! We have guard armor. Finally, we've made some progress. Suck it. Johto, you're kind of in the way, dude. God damn it, dude. What the hell? Alright, we have eliminated the Forsworn. Very VD. good, my friend. I thank you for your help. How did this recruit do? Dover Bear, god damn it, dude. <laughs> Leave me alone. Hey, you know what? He fought well. Surprising, isn't it? For no more training that he has, he's been the natural. Good job, both of you. I just want to say what a band of misfits we have right now. That was the last evaluation. What else do you want? No, friend. Not now. But wait here for a minute. I have a little surprise for these recruits. Kendrick, get your armor from that chest and put it on and get in line. Recruits, fall in front and center. I feel like Brittany's in the way. You know what? Screw it. Let's just move Brittany. Otherwise, god damn it, Jazago. Why does everyone just get in my way? Smooth Brittany, so you can actually do the talking and shit. There we go. God damn AI in this game, man. Well done. Some of you had better reports than others, but you are all still alive, and you are improving with each new day of training. But training and discipline are not always enough. To be our best, we have to be a team and a family. So today, you are no longer recruits. You are our gods. Today, each of you has earned your job here in Helden. Yeah. Woo! Helgen! Woo! And you need to look the part. You all have your new armor and shield. Wear it proudly, soldiers. Just like the new banners for this town, your shields have our symbol, the hammer and the... Oh, that's hammer. what it is. I had no idea. It's a very old and proud symbol of courage in the face of overwhelming odds and never giving up. Be proud, soldiers. We are Helgen! <laughs> the lizard guy is really, really excited, apparently. Hey, you calm down, you're a Helgen guard now. Okay, right, what the balls are we doing now? Am I gonna get a quest updates? I have no idea, apparently we're going back in the keep. Oh, we got a return to Marcus. Alrighty then. Wait a minute, what the hell is up with these people over here? And who the hell are you? What the Oh, we got banners! My god! I never noticed that, even though he said it, and for some reason it just went clean over my head. Who the hell are you? I don't know. Who the hell are you? Hi there. I also don't know. What the hell's going on? Oh, that's Patsy. And he doesn't want to talk to me either. Well, you have a stupid name, sir. Alrighty, I guess we are returned to Marcus, and apparently there is nothing to steal in the barrel. That makes me a very, very sad panda. Anyway, finally, we are starting to make some goddamn progress here. We have guards, they're wearing armor, and Helgen has started to be reborn. As you know, the name of the mod would suggest. Finally, we might actually be getting to the new content. And this makes me very, very excited. I cannot believe they've put up banners and shit, and that dead body is still there. Holy shit, like, what the hell, man? Get rid of the dead body. 
I killed him like 20 years ago. He should be a skeleton by now. That would be an awesome mod. They turn to skeletons after a while. What's up, buddy? I finished helping course with the guards, and it sucked. Excellent. Just in time. We have a surprise for you. You've done so much to help us that we all wanted to show you how much we appreciate your help. We thought a nice place to call your own would be a fitting reward for a person of your unique talents. So once we got the rubble cleared from around the door, we discovered that the central tower was completely intact and in great structural condition. We added a few furnishings to make it livable, and I think you'll find most everything you'll need to make yourself comfortable there. And get this, we found an old armory downstairs, and a huge cavern below that. It was probably meant to be a sanctuary of some sort. Or perhaps it was used as a barracks for guards to sleep in. Anyway, you may wish to use it to store and display your belongings. Oh, and if you like trophies, Patsy is a skilled taxidermist and can mount many of Skyrim's creatures if you supply the materials he needs. <laughs> he should totally run a taxidermy shop called Patsidermy. That would be awesome. Anyway, some of this sounds pretty goddamn interesting. Thank you. Other than that, the cleanup is going exceedingly well. We'll continue to clean up all these debris and rubble piles. Once that's finished and we have all the supplies delivered, the actual construction can begin. Oh, say, speaking of supplies, my initial lumber order is way overdue to be delivered. The new owner of the mill in Falkreath is a man named Reinhardt. I already paid him a deposit, but he's failed to begin the shipments. If you get a chance, check with him and see what the holdup is. I'd hate to have to take my business to Riverwood, if you know what I mean. Nope, I have no idea what you mean. Oh, gosh! Cock in the face! Jesus Christ! You got practically teabagged me. There was no need for that, buddy. There was no need for that. Right, I guess we're going to Patsy first, and then we'll check in our private quarters. Question is, where the hell is he, and who the hell are you? Yes. Another random that's not going to talk to me. Well, screw you then, you stuck-up bitch. Uh-huh, I found the bastard. How the hell did you get down here? You were literally just outside. You're some kind of a wizard, aren't you? Marcus said I should talk to you about I taxidermy. Many of the creatures and animals here in Skyrim, if you bring me the materials I need... Take this book. It'll explain everything and tell you what I need. Oh, a book. I don't want to read a book. Thank you, Dick. Oh, uh, okay. You know, I'll actually find. Let's talk to him, see what he actually says. I'd like you to make some stuff. Hey, what would you like me to make for you? Eh, apparently we can't make anything. I guess we don't have the ingredients, but at least we have the book. So we can look up how to do it. We will make some stuff, I promise you. We will taxidermist some shit. Anyway, question is, where the balls is our private quarters? Because I don't think it's in this building, so it must be somewhere outside. Genius, I know. Okay, seems to be over in this direction somewhere. Yes, there we go. Private tower discovered. There it is. Right, what the balls is going on over here? What's up, Johto buddy? You're doing Joto excellent work. Hunter, yeah, yeah, whatever. Screw off. I thought maybe we could re-recruit him, because, you know, we had them before. But it seems like, you know, once they're guards, they're just stuck here. I mean, I get that they are actually guarding the place, so, you know, we need some of them. But why can't we take just, like, one at a time or something, man? I don't get it, but whatever. As you enter the door, you notice enough for you on the floor and pick it up. Okay, that kind of rhymes. Where is it? Oh, there it is. A gift for you and it. What the hell is going on? There you are. Whoa, okay, that was weird. Hello, friend. We all hope you like your new private tower. As an additional surprise to you, we've left you a little something in the end table at the end of the bed upstairs. It's nothing much, but it's just our way of initiating you into the group. Unfortunately, we're not what we once were in terms of numbers, but our spirits still remain strong. Have I somehow joined a cult or something? Why, what the cr- Oh, there's another page. Balfring and Sienna work together on your armor, so hopefully it will fit you well. We are proud to call you one of our own. Vel, well, ain't that nice. We're one of the boys, and I guess we've got some guard armor upstairs. Quite frankly, I don't think we'll ever wear that, but you know, we'll check it out. These seem to be custom books. Yes, I'm pretty damn certain at least the Hatu one is. I, I think I know what the books are in Skyrim, at least for the most part, and I don't think I've seen these before, so I'm gonna go through the pages, just in case they are custom, because I'm pretty damn certain they are. And yeah, if you want to pause it and read it yourself, be my freaking guest, because like, holy shit, that is long. I'm not reading all of that on camera, and I can't stand the font in Skyrim. I don't know why, I just find it really, really hard to read without tripping over my goddamn words. I've read, you know, like, Pokemon and shit, I can do that, no problem, but the Skyrim font. Gotta hate it, and holy shit, this is a long book. 
Jesus Christ! This is like all three Lord of the Rings rolled into one. And he threw the ring into the fires of Mount Doom. The end. Hey guys, give this place a quick check out, see what the hell's going on down here. Hey, they've got custom paintings. Is that, uh, what one's that? Is that Azura with the stars? I think so. Enable mannequins. What? I don't think I really want mannequins. Those things scare the hell out of me. And I don't see them appearing. Maybe they're downstairs or upstairs or something. I ain't got a goddamn clue. And yes, I am basically stealing from myself at this point. That's how much of a kleptomaniac I am. I even get satisfied when I steal from myself. <laughs> what can I say? It's awesome. Right, there's nothing there. Where did they say they were keeping the armor? Oh, hey, we got shrines and shit. Is that... Oh, god damn, that's another book. God damn, it's right. Again, I'm going to go through the pages. If you want to read it, be my guest. Hopefully this one is not as long as the last one. Because holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> my god. Right, so where's our guard armor? It can't be a strong box, sure. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, you could put it in there, but that's a bit silly. Oh, it's at the end table. I did not think you could open these things. And what is going on with the flashing? Right, we're going to leave it all there for now. Hey, we've got another custom armor as well. The Keepers of the Hatu. That looks pretty cool. I mean, it's all just, you know, retextured armor, but, you know, it's it's not a bad retexture. We'll check that out later. I ain't got the space to carry that right now, and Jizargo and Dover Bear will start putting it on and just look ridiculous. Plus, when Dover Bear puts armor on, he becomes invisible, and I've lost him like that before, and he was right next to me the entire goddamn time, and quite frankly, it was annoying as shit. Also, I gotta say, man, it's a bit barren on top of the tower. I could do with some more stuff up there. Maybe we can purchase some house upgrades or something like that. I don't know, I don't remember him mentioning it, but he did say stuff about taxidermy, so we can probably get, you know, some stuffed dead bodies all over the place. Because that's always nice, isn't it? Nice and wholesome, and I don't know if we have the mannequins on or off right now, I don't see any of them. So I get the feeling I keep bloody switching them off. Your new dynamic display room. Is this going to explain the taxidermy? God, I hope so. Yes, there we go, that's what we need for the ingredients, interesting. Ah, we only need like, you know, one ingredient for some of these guys. We should probably do that. Just make the easy ones and screw the rest, because I'm a lazy, lazy man. <laughs> I'll read that off screen later, because, you know, it's going to be a bit boring if I sit there reading the ingredients and shit now. And we got to collect some, then we, you know, get some dead bodies all over the place. Because it's fun. It's fun to have dead bodies, goddammit. There's a lot of storage and shit here, man. It's just a bit, you know, I complain about this all the goddamn time. And I don't mean it negatively on the mod maker, but it's just a bit normal, you know? It's very Skyrim. I like player and homes that are a bit unique. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, it looks very good so far, but I'm not seeing anything unique about it. You know, nothing that really stands out to me, it's just, you know, the normal display cases and stuff like that. Which is fine, but like I say, it just, you know, it's, it's just a bit normal for me. I'm a man of extravagant taste, what can I say? Holy shit, there is a lot of display things. Like, my god, you are never gonna run out of them. I wonder where the goddamn mannequins are. Where are you hiding? Are these proper functioning bookcases? No, they're not, they could do them a bit of a change. We could put our Dragon Priest mask here. You know, if our file hadn't corrupted and made me lose all of them. Not that I had every single one, but I think I was only missing like two or something. And I really want to get Morakai, whatever the good one is with the horns. It looks badass, man. Apparently we have a stuffed greybeard here. That is some sadistic shit. I mean, I realize it's just like the loading screen thing, but uh... It looks like we have a stuffed dude here. And you know what? That, in a creepy way, that's actually kind of cool. See, this is a bit more like it. It's... It's not, you know, super out of the ordinary, but it is a bit more unique than, a, you know, a normal player on home in Skyrim. So, you know, I'm cool with this. Hey, we seem to have a giant freaking cavern of death and destruction. We'll check that out in a minute. I just want to make sure we're not missing anything else in this room. I'm wondering why there are giant pedestals up here. Are these just for where we can put our stuffed animals and shit? It's entirely possible. My god, that spider literally scared the crap out of me for a second. I thought it was real. Those things are gross, man. I'm not the sort of person who really gets creeped out by spiders, but you know, if you have a giant eight-foot one, up close, that's pretty gross. Like, it really is. Giant fangs and ugh. Just got, they, they, are, they are one of, you know, nature's weirdest creatures. Like, can you just imagine if there were actually giant spiders in real life? Like, just humongous, bigger than human beings, just walking around like freaking giraffes and shit. That is like my idea of a nightmare. And like I say, I ain't scared of spiders, but I am scared of eight-foot bloody spiders, because my god... Those things are fast and scary looking. Oh, God damn it! Come on, you can do it. Yes. The world's worst parkour ever. There doesn't seem to be much down here. Am I missing something? Hello? Oh, there's another pathway. Where's this going to take us? To apparently absolutely nothing. All right there. I don't really know where's the pathway there. Whatever. Ah, is this a secret? Can we squeeze through here? No, we can't. There's an invisible wall. God damn it. That's a bit... I don't want to be critical. I know people don't like it when they criticize mods, but... Uh, I just hate invisible walls, it's kind of lazy game design, you know, if you don't want someone to go there, put a bloody rock there, it just looks way better in my opinion, but whatever, the cabin's cool, but it just doesn't seem to be much down here, like I say, 
Maybe we can put a bunch of stuffed animals down here, spice it up, but ultimately I don't really see that this has much of a point. It might do, maybe it has a point later, but right now I ain't got a clue what the point of it is. Anyway, I think we've explored everything just very quickly. I want to see what's up with the mannequins, man, because we still haven't found those goddamn things. I'm guessing we just deactivated them by mistake. That's another thing that I would suggest, you know, if the mod maker's actually watching or anyone that knows them. Have some kind of visual indication on the screen when you click on the mannequin button that tells you whether it's on or off. Because you can do that, I don't know how to do it, you know, but I know it can be done because I've seen it in other mods. So, uh, yeah, that would be my one suggestion for that, because at the moment I don't have a clue whether we've switched it on or off, and it's kind of annoying, quite frankly. Right, a search around the house, I'm guessing they're going to be down here, because, you know, this looks like a huge display room. Yes, there we go, we have mannequins now. And they're moving. Well, that's creepy as shit. Hey, you stop moving, buddy. Don't make me do it. I will freaking kill you. God damn, I hate mannequins. They are the scariest things on earth. Holy shit. But hey, there we go. We figured out what's up with the mannequins. Like I say, man, it seems like a pretty good player at home, but, you know, pretty standard. It's just got, you know, more display and stuff like that, which is cool. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. Next time, we're going to carry on with the main quest. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Skyrim.